Hello everyone, welcome back. So in my previous video, I have explained how do we solve a system of linear equation using Gaussian elimination by back substitution. In this video, we will see how do we determine whether the given equation has no solution using the same method of Gaussian elimination. Let us learn this through an example. So if we have a system of linear equation, x minus y plus 2z equal to 4, x plus z equal to 6, 2x minus 3y plus 5z equal to 4 and 3x plus 2y minus z equal to 1. We have to solve the given system of linear equation using Gaussian elimination. So the first step is to form an augmented matrix. An augmented matrix is a matrix which consists of the coefficients of the variable and the constant term. So this is our augmented matrix corresponding to the given system of linear equation. Now if we have to solve it using Gaussian elimination, the first thing is to convert this augmented matrix to the row echelon form. Okay? In the row echelon form, we know that each row begins with a 1 as the non -zero, first non-zero element. Okay, so if we look at this matrix, the first element of row 1 is 1. So we don't have to do anything to row 1, we will keep it as it is. For the second row, I want the first element to be 0. So I will perform the operation. Row 2 will be written as row 2 minus row 1. So I get a 0, I get a 1, I get a negative 1 and a 2. Row 3, the first element has to be made 0. So I will write the operation row 3 as row 3 minus 2 row 1. And I get a 0. Then minus 3 minus of minus 2 is minus 1. 5 minus 4 gives me a 1. And 4 minus 8 gives me a negative 4. And comes the fourth row. To make the first element 0, I will have to perform the operation row 4 minus 3 times row 1. So I get a 0 as the first element and I get 5 as the second element, then minus 7 and then minus 11. Okay, I hope this much is clear. Now the second element of row 2 is 1 which is fine. We always have to move to farther right as we go ahead in the rows, the position of the 1 should keep moving farther to the right. For the third row, we want this particular element to be 0. And it will be obtained by adding row 3 to row 2. So the matrix 1, minus 1, 2, 4. Keep the first row as it is. Second remains as it is. And the third row is written as row 3 plus row 2. So 0 plus 0 is 0, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0 and we get a minus 2 here. And the fourth row is kept as it is. Now these four rows are nothing but the four equations. So if we try to write the equation that's corresponding to row 3, we get 0x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to minus 2. Correct? 0 multiplied by any number is 0. So, I will have 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is again 0 and 0 can never be equal to minus 2. Am I right? Correct? So, this means that there are no values of x, y and z such that 0x plus 0y plus 0z becomes minus 2 and hence this system of linear equation has no solution. So if we try to convert the augmented matrix to the row echelon form and we get a row in which the coefficient of the variables are 0 with a constant term, then that particular set of equation has no solution. So I hope how do we determine the given equation has no solution using Gaussian elimination is clear to everyone. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.